Hey crushers, how are you? The description function within the Google My Business profile is a key element of any local business listing as it is one of the first things the user has the opportunity to read and which informs the user about the products or services that the company offers. For this reason, it is important to create a GMB description that makes the right people more likely to interact with your list, then prompt them to call you or visit the site linked to your GMB. As for the SEO aspect, the description of the list impacts on how Google Mum processes the data linked to the list. User behavior matters to Google, and a sticky description helps increase CTR and engagement metrics. Remember the higher the engagement, the higher the ranking. Now let's see what you need to consider when writing a description of your business to attract more clicks and engagement. Are you ready? Let's go! When there is no GMB description in your client's listing, Google will pull out business details from social media accounts connected to the website. We feel this can be an upcoming trend on Google because of how often they rewrite meta descriptions over 70% of the time, and it might happen soon for all listings with poor short descriptions or no description at all. Performing several tests, we noticed how multi-location businesses ignore having such important information about them in their profile, so you should address this issue during the optimization process too. It is always better to be safe than sorry. Having a clean, well-optimized social media profile will help your Google business listing get more attention from potential customers and clients who are looking for what you have to offer. As we know that Google has been getting smarter with reading entities, it would be really nice if your business listings are not linked to obsolete profiles. It can be a huge turnoff for potential customers, and it's not really what you want on your listing. At GMB Crush we highly recommend including into your GMB description a mention about any zip code related to your targeted main location and how your location can be reached from a couple of relevant geographic points. Mention in your description your primary and additional categories and remember that. It's okay to include an email address. Including a phone number is fine. You can't pitch sales. To write an optimized and engaging Google My Business description add to your list. 1. Mentions of the main products in which the company specializes. 2. Mentions a target location or service area within which the company operates. 3. Includes hyperlocal elements, for example, you can indicate in which street the company is located, how it is possible to reach it. 4. Mentions for how long the company has been operating in the market and any awards. 5. Include a call to action and mention your opening hours in short. If you manage multiple listings or just want to see how your My Business lists stack up against competitors, you can try GMB Crush and create an optimization plan to outperform your competitors with just a few clicks. GMB Crush in fact allows you to audit, optimize, pitch clients, and track your Google Business listing performances from just one platform. Let's see how. After selecting and importing your list data and competitor list data in a few clicks, you will be able to obtain an optimization document like this one, which includes insights on how to optimize all the available fields of your list. In this video, we will see more details on the GMB description part, but if you are interested in this content, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date. As your GMB description is influencing how well people enjoy browsing on Google My Business, it's important that you optimize this part of the page. In the GMB description audit section of GMB Crush, the software pulls out 1. The keywords not included in your description 2. The keywords included in your description but in a lower frequency if compared to the competitor 3. The keywords not included in your description with the right frequency 4. The keywords not included in your description with a higher frequency than the competitor Now that you know how to best optimize your list description, it's time to analyze how your competitors have optimized their lists. GMB Crush can help you not only analyze and optimize your list, but also keep track of all the monthly and weekly statistics of your lists. For more information about GMB Crush and how our software can benefit the growth of your local list, please follow the link in the description or in the first pinned comment. See you in the next episode.